Good day folks. Today we bring you a news flash straight from the heart of the United Kingdom. The government, in a bold and decisive move, has rolled out the fraud plan, a comprehensive strategy aimed at cracking down on benefit fraud. This initiative, implemented through the Department for Work and Pensions, or DWP, has already saved over £1.3 billion in its first year. The fraud plan is a mix of modern technology and legislative prowess designed to protect taxpayer funds and ensure their appropriate use. It's not just a plan, it's a commitment. A promise to the public that the government is taking active measures to fight against benefit fraud. So, what does this fraud plan entail? A lot it turns out. The government is boosting its workforce, hiring new staff to handle the increased workload. It's also modernizing its information gathering powers, making sure it has all the necessary data to catch fraudsters in the act. But the government isn't stopping there. It's introducing civil penalties for those caught committing fraud. A clear message that such actions will not be tolerated. It's also investing in advanced data analytics, a tool that will allow it to spot irregularities and potential fraud cases more efficiently. The fraud plan also includes changes to universal credit processes. The government is enhancing the accuracy of these processes to prevent fraudulent claims, ensuring only those who truly need assistance get it. The ambition is grand. The government aims to save a whopping £9 billion by 2028 through these efforts. And to reach this goal, new legislation is being proposed to give the DWP powers similar to that of the HMRC in tackling fraud. To sum it up, the fraud plan is a robust and comprehensive strategy aimed at ensuring taxpayer funds are used appropriately. It's a testament to the government's commitment to combat benefit fraud and uphold the integrity of its welfare programs. This has been your news flash for the day. Stay tuned for more updates and information on the issues that matter. Until next time, stay informed and stay vigilant.